What's going on guys? This is Vince with vshred.com and in today's video I have a full leg workout for you. We're going to be focusing on hitting every single leg muscle and all you're going to need are dumbbells. Like I said, today's video is going to be a leg workout that you can do pretty much anywhere because you're not gonna need any kind of fancy equipment, you're not even gonna need a barbell, um, just a couple of dumbbells, and then something to put your foot up on because one of the exercises is going to require your foot to be elevated back behind you. Um, and this workout is going to be basically catered around focusing on all the different, the, the main muscle groups of the legs. You got your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, and then we're gonna finish it off with an exercise for calves. So if you're trying to develop your legs and maybe you have limited equipment, this is going to be perfect for you. Uh, now, before I get into it, I will say, if you're trying to get in shape and you're trying to build some lean muscle, um, summer's right around the corner, I do have a free fitness quiz that tells you the three most important things to do to get in shape, depending on what your body type is, because you can try to get in shape and follow a plan that your friend is following, and it might work for them, but it won't work for you. That's because you need to do specific things based on what shape you're currently in and what your exact goals are, and that's exactly what my quiz tells you. So hit that link right below this video, down to the description to check it out and just get a couple free tips to help you get in shape this summer. Um, also, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button and hitting the little notification bell and subscribing to the VShred channel here on YouTube. It's quickly growing, but I get a lot of viewers who just watch the videos and aren't subscribed and you're missing out on a lot of content that I'm pu pumping out. So uh, without a further ado, let's get into today's workout. So. Like I said, this video, this workout is going to be catered to all the different muscle groups and starting it off, we're gonna be doing some dumbbell goblet squats. So goblet squats are a great variation of a, let's say back squat. It's gonna put a little more emphasis in your quads though because the weight is going to be in front of you. So you're gonna grab a dumbbell um, and you're gonna be going for 12 reps here. So you wanna go with whatever weight that you're gonna be able to hold in front of you for 12 reps. Um, and with goblet squats, like I said, it's gonna be a lot more emphasis on your quads but also a lot of emphasis on your glutes down in the deeper position. And then one thing that's important to remember here is that you do want to try to keep your torso as upright as possible. You really wanna avoid leaning forward as you squat down, keep your shoulders back, keep your chest out, and then as you drop down, drive your butt backwards. Your knees are going to go over your toes. Anyone who says that your knees aren't supposed to pass your toes in the squat is a liar. It puts way too much pressure on your hips. When you do do that, I made a video about it, a couple squat mistakes. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a card to it right up here. But um, you're gonna go down, you're gonna do 12 reps, so you're gonna go down to just, depth is going to be about 90 degrees with your legs. So you want your hamstrings to pass um, level to the ground, that's going to be just past 90 degrees. You're gonna go down, and you're gonna squat back up, and as you squat back up, you are going to squeeze through your glutes. That's really going to allow you to get that full range of motion and also just get a better contraction with your glutes because a lot of people find it difficult to get that contraction with your glutes when doing a squat. So you're gonna do that for 12 reps, you're gonna rest for a minute, and you're gonna repeat that three more times. So four total sets of 12, and if you can bump up weight, uh, maybe you could have done 13 or 14 or 12 was just really easy, bump up weight, bump up five, 10 pounds, um, and just do a heavier weight so that you are failing around 12 reps. Exercise number two are dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, so RDL. So here, you're gonna get a pair of dumbbells, so you're gonna pick up some, and these again are gonna be pretty heavy dumbbells because obviously when you're doing deadlifts, any kind of deadlift, you're typically gonna be able to go a little bit heavier because you are gonna be working multiple different muscle groups. It's a good compound movement, but it's gonna be putting a lot of emphasis in your hamstrings and your glutes. So we started it off with some quads and glutes. We're gonna move into an exercise that primarily focuses on hamstrings strings and glutes now. And we're hitting glutes twice in a row because that is the largest muscle group in your body, but now we're moving on to hamstrings. With these, you want to put your feet pretty close together. Now your feet aren't gonna be completely together. You want them to be just inside of hip width. And then also I like to have my toes just slightly pointed outward. Um, it just helps my, I have knee pain sometimes. And so when, it go, when I go too straight with it, I feel it a little too much and I don't like that. So I have my feet slightly pointed outward. That's just comfortable for me. 
find whatever position is most comfortable for you. From there, you're gonna bend down, you're gonna have both of the dumbbells, and you're basically just gonna slide them up and down the front of your thighs. And so, starting out in a straight up standing position, you're gonna have a soft bend in your knees as you go down. So you're not gonna bend your knees too much, and you're also not going to um, keep them completely straight, a nice soft bend. And as you bend down, you wanna keep that dumbbell pretty much pressed against your thighs the whole way down, and you're going to drive your hips backwards. So you're gonna drive them backwards, and then you're going to go down until the dumbbells are probably about six inches past your kneecap. Then you're going to bring them back up, keeping the dumbbell in line, basically touching your legs. And then as your dumbbells as the dumbbells pass your kneecap, you're gonna really focus on driving your hips forward by squeezing with your glutes. So that driving of the hips backwards is gonna get a nice stretch back there. And then as you drive your legs forward, as you drive your hips forward, that's what's really going to help to get that contraction of your hamstrings and your glutes. So again, you're gonna go for 12 reps here. After you get 12 full reps, nice and controlled, you're going to rest for one minute again, so 60 second rest, repeat that three more times for four total sets, and we'll move into the third exercise. And this exercise is going to be a Bulgarian split squat. So this is the exercise I was talking about that is going to need the bench or a chair or a box behind you for you to put your foot back on. And you want, the, you want it to be just below knee height. You don't want the box to be too high. You also don't want it to be super low. And here, you're gonna put the foot back. You're gonna put your toe back on it. You're gonna grab the two dumbbells. And then with your front leg, you can make this exercise so that it focuses a lot more on your quads or a lot more on your, or a little more on your hamstrings. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put our foot out a little farther. And by putting your foot out a little farther, that's gonna put a little more emphasis in your hamstrings. Yes, your quads are still gonna be being worked, so don't worry. But we're gonna go a little farther so your knee's not going to carry uh, past your toes nearly as much. Um, and so what you're going to do here is you really wanna focus on keeping your chest out, but as you do squat down, you are going to be hip hinging a little bit, which means you're just gonna be bending over at the hips a little bit. You're gonna squat down, you're gonna go until that front knee is about at a 90 degree angle, then you're going to press up through that front foot, keeping the weight back in your heels. You don't wanna be pushing too much through your toes. You could end up getting a little too much pressure in your knee, maybe hurting yourself. Um, so keep that pressure on your heels or just try to keep it evenly distributed on your foot. Press up through that front foot, get that full extension of your knee. You really wanna squeeze out, but don't lock out. There's a difference between squeezing out and locking out. And then you're gonna go for 12 reps. Again, nice and controlled reps. You're gonna switch feet, put the other foot back on the box. Same thing with the front. You want it to be a little farther out so you can get a little more hamstring emphasis here. 12 reps with the other leg, rest for a minute and get right back into it, complete it for four total sets again. And then the next exercise we're gonna move into is another lunge variation, but these we're just gonna be doing walking lunges. So walking lunges have a little more emphasis with your quads um, because what you're gonna be doing is stepping forward and as you step forward, you are going to be carrying that weight forward on your leg and then you're also going to be in knee flexion and as you extend your knee as you're stepping forward, you're gonna be getting a lot of emphasis on those quads. So grab a pair of dumbbells that you're gonna be able to do 12 walking lunges with each leg. This is not six each leg, 12 total. This is 12 each leg, so 24 steps total. And here, again, you wanna keep your core tight, keep your chest out. As you do lunge down, you are going to be bending forward at the hips, so hinging a little bit with your hips, um, but really going down as slow and controlled as possible, really focusing on keeping that your body and your back um, in a straight line as you lunge down. With your back knee, you do not want your back knee to be pounding off the ground. You wanna go down maybe about an inch, a half inch until your back knee touches the ground. If it touches the ground on accident, that's fine. Just make sure it's not pounding off the ground and creating this little bounce that you get when you bounce the bar off your chest with bench press. You wanna avoid that. You want your leg muscles to stop you from lunging down and your leg muscles to push you back up, to just stand back up, to lunge back up, not 
bouncing off the ground and the ground is stopping your momentum and then you're able to just use that momentum that you're using from the bounce to get back up. So all leg muscles here, nice and controlled. Um, again, same thing with your foot. You don't wanna be putting too much pressure on your toes. Keep it evenly distributed through the balls of your feet and the heel of your foot. If you need to, focus on using more of your heel. That way you're not gonna be putting too much pressure on your knee. 12 reps each leg, like I said, so 24 total steps. Rest for a minute. Repeat that three more times. That's gonna be the four total sets for that. And then that's gonna be the it for the for the top, for upper legs basically. And we're gonna move into one exercise for calves. And this is just gonna be some dumbbell straight leg calf raises. And so with this, um, you can just go a regular uh, standing flat on the ground, calf raises here, holding some dumbbells. And you really wanna focus on exploding up with your calves and then um, squeezing out at the top. I like to really get an emphasis at that squeeze at the top and then lowering yourself a little slower than you exploded up. That just has always helped me with my calves. And if you wanna add a little extra stress here, you wanna add a little extra stretch, I should say, if you're at a gym or maybe you're home and you have something that's about a half inch tall or maybe an inch tall and you can put your toes on it, by putting your toes on it and then going down as you go into that eccentric, on your way down, you're gonna be getting a little better stretch in your calf, which is going to allow you for a more full range of motion. And as you do that, you're going to get a better contraction with that calf. So um, adding that little plate does help a lot, but if you don't have it, at least doing standing calf raises is gonna be better than doing nothing. Um, this is gonna help you develop your lower leg muscles as well, in addition to your upper leg muscles. Um, you want to avoid just focusing on that the upper legs and not and and avoiding the lower legs. I did that, and it in, and it leads to small calves, and then you got to make up for it later. So avoid doing that, and that is the entire workout. So that's the full leg workout. Like I said, it's going to be 60 second rest, one minute rest, four sets of each exercise, going for 12 reps with the calves. Um, I forgot to mention it is 15 reps with each set of the calves. I do like to go a little bit higher with my rep range simply because you are walking around on your calves all day. So they are used to being worked all day long. So higher rep ranges with a little bit lower weight has just always helped me feel the best contraction. So that's the whole workout guys. Um, if you are looking for more leg workouts make sure you're going to my leg playlist up here I got tons of um, tips to help you get bigger quads tips to help your glutes tips to help basically any leg muscle in your body and just full-on workouts if you want to try out a different one next week so let me know how you like it down in the comment section below hit that thumbs up button if you did like this video and other than that guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one